Welcome to our lecture online. Now let's solve this particular quadratic equation using a table or a table of values as we call it. So what we do have in one column, we just put particular values for x, and then on the other column we put in what that value would be, or when we plug that value in for x, what do we get for the quadratic equation? Of course, we're looking for all the values of x that make the quadratic equation on the left side equal to the right side. In this case, we want x squared minus 3x plus 2 to equal 0. Now, sometimes it's easy enough just to, in your head, plug the number in and figure out what the result is. Or if you have trouble doing that, we can figure it out on the side here. So let's do that. First of all, the easy one is x equals 0. Because that makes this equal to 0, that makes this equal to 0. That means that x squared minus 3x plus 2 when x equals 0 is simply equal to 2. Since it's not equal to 0, that's not a solution to the quadratic equation. Okay, the next value, when we plug in a 1. 1 squared is 1, minus 3 times 1, that would be 1 minus 3, which is minus 2 plus 2, which is 0. And you see, okay, that means that is one possible solution, x equals 1. If you have trouble doing that, that's quite all right. Sometimes it's difficult to keep all that stuff in your head. You simply go, when x equals 1, then our equation becomes 1 squared minus 3 times 1 plus 2, uh, that becomes equal to 1 minus 3 plus 2, which is equal to 1 plus 2 is 3 minus 3, which is equal to 0. So you can see that it's easy just on the side very quickly working that out. For example, when x equals 2, <clears throat> when x equals 2, what that means for the quadratic equation, that gives us 2 squared minus 3 times 2 plus 2. That would be equal to 4 minus 6 plus 2. 4 plus 2 is 6, minus 6 is equal to 0, and that means that there's another solution. And at that point, we have found two solutions, so we don't have to go any further. Those are the two solutions, x equals 1 or x equals 2, both represent solutions to our original quadratic equation. And that is how it's done easily by using a table of values.